Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. <clears throat> if you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate that. This is a Virgo channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Okay, um, stick around for the end after the video because I am going to do... Um, if you're dealing with a particular sign, okay, after this, after the initial reading is over. So, it, it, Virgo dealing with Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and so on and so forth, okay? If not, you can click off when the reading's over if you're not interested in that. All right, so let's get into this, Virgo. Hi, you guys in the chat. How you doing? All right, let's see. Let's hope for a good, good message. Something positive for Virgos. Something real good and positive for Virgos. Okay. I know these cards. I don't know. Do they want to come out? What's going on? Okay. The runner. Oh, that's positive. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to ego. Okay. So, some of you are dealing with someone who runs away. Maybe they're avoidant, they get close, and then they back off, um, they have a fear of connecting, or they have an avoidant attachment style, or it could just be you are connected with someone who runs. They're a runner, they sprint, they marathon, um, they go out and jog every day. It could just be a physical fitness kind of thing. Okay. Or it could be somebody new. We'll see how the reading goes. All right, let's see. Heart with a key. Welcoming, love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. Wow. Okay, so it looks like some of you are going to be meeting your, your other half, getting together with someone, opening up your heart, welcoming love into your life. Okay. Oh, wow, you've got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. You know, it's funny because before I was starting this reading, I was just kind of meditating on some cards and stuff. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I should do a singles reading because I haven't done that yet because of that lunar eclipse that I did on Sunday. But it looks like it's dictating how the reading is going to go. So, yeah, Virgo, I feel like... You could be meeting someone who is athletic or connecting with someone who likes to run. Um, you may have been in a relationship or connected with someone and they were a runner or they were actually like had a fear of intimacy and every time we got close, um, they run away <laughs> and, this, and then they just gave me, okay, I'm dating myself here, but I guess my spirit guides are old. <laughs> Or they're aged, but um, somebody could be running back to you as well. They might have an in and out energy. King of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So a connection with someone who might be um, maybe emotionally abusive for some of you. Or someone who's just emotionally very dependent or a people pleaser. Um, okay. So temperance is here. So, oh, okay, so they're just saying it could be someone who's on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius. Is that a cusp? Yeah, Scorpio, Sagittarius. That would be like at the end of November. You could be connecting with someone around, you know, the, the change, seasonal change, the zodiac change. So when does Scorpio end and Sagittarius begin? Is it around November 20th, 21st? somewhere around there okay um but it feels like somebody's coming into balance somebody is whoever this king of cups is okay for some of you cancer scorpio pisces doesn't have to be um bringing something back into balance becoming emotionally stable this runner okay wow ten of cups so hmm all right i feel like somebody here has decided that they don't want to run anymore, all right? If this is somebody new or someone that you're 
already connecting with. They don't want to run anymore. They're getting themselves more in a position of stability with temperance. Okay, it could also be a Sagittarius. Temperance energy is just, you know, basically harmony and um, having some self-control and patience. All right, let me see. Oh, there's a reunion. Okay, for some of you, or you're meeting someone around the end of November, for some of you, you're connecting with someone, Three of Cups energy. So this might be like meeting like a celebration or some friends, a night out, connecting with a, a bunch of people. Um, you could be on a dating site or just dating and you connect with someone who is, well, very smothering. I don't necessarily feel like, it, you know, any of the kings in reverse, I mean, they could be um, on a spectrum of whatever kind of issues, spiritually disordered or something like that. I feel like this King of Cups, though, is generally someone who's very supportive and nurturing. Um, but I also feel like in the reverse, this is someone who could be very insecure or addicted to you or becomes that way, um, a bit smothering, obsessive. Um, I feel like this person will show up at this time period of like kind of presenting is very well balanced with the temperance card, um, have a good temperament, or they're actually trying to balance their emotional stuff that goes on with them and, and just trying to stay even keel. It feels like a real strong intensity from this King of Cups in the reverse. Very, like, oh gosh, okay. So we go from, you have someone who's a runner and then becomes obsessive. They So this feels like an energy of someone who like, as soon as you get close, but when they get close, it gets super, super close, almost obsessively close. And then it's overwhelming and then maybe they run. Okay. <laughs> this is somebody new, I, I don't know what to tell you. You make up your own mind. <laughs> And for some of you, this is a reunion with this person. Okay, let me see. And I have to tell you, I feel like somebody's getting some healing here also. That's what that balance card feels like. The, the cups balancing a relationship. Two cups there, an exchange of energy, water, emotional energy, but also being grounded. So, hmm, I know some of you want to hear all about new beginnings, and I, I am going to tell you that for some of you, this can be something new, welcoming or meeting the one. But for others, it's kind of a 50-50, because I feel like for others, there is like um, getting together with someone again. Will you do it? I don't know, but I feel like this person is trying to get together with you around the end of November. Okay. What else is going on here? Oh my gosh, Virgo. I don't know how though. Now, it might just be that they want to because I'm not seeing um, any communication happening here. Although there is a three in the three of cups and that can represent, threes can represent communication but I'm not seeing like direct communication, like a page or some kind of message being sent or um, a phone call or hearing from someone. It just feels like somebody here, they think you have or could possibly hold the key to their heart and they have a very strong affection and attraction for you in November. Okay. All right. You've got two knights and you have the emperor. Wow. Okay, Aries energy there. Wow. Okay. Um, so there's another person involved in this situation who is either, hmm. There's another person in this situation who is telling this person to get going or go after you or fight for you. Okay. Could be a father figure it could be an older brother um it could be a friend a mentor also they could also be doing them a favor and sending friends out <laughs> to connect with you or get a message to you because that knight of swords always makes me feel like um 
you know, the, the, the postman, the postmaster, the, the mailman, whatever, um, getting a message out, okay, delivering a message. And with that Knight of Wands, this is like very strong attraction. What the heck is going on here? I'm hearing um, a message or a phone call. Um, I'll, meet, I'll meet you somewhere. I'll meet you somewhere. Can we meet somewhere? This is where I'll meet you. Okay. <laughs> Virgo's like, what the heck is going on here? Why are these knights here? Okay. Wow. That's the Virgo card there. This person is looking at you like you are fine and hot to trot and sassy. Absolutely. You are looking fine. You are looking good. Um... Um, I'm just hearing somebody saying, yeah, I'll be in a particular place with some friends or some other people and I'll meet up with you there. I'll meet you there or a group of friends. We're all going to get together here. Can you come? I'm hearing that. Oh, the end of November. That's like Thanksgiving here in the U.S. So that's going to be like a holiday time, maybe on that weekend, even for some of you. A getting together with family, ten of cups, spilling some drinks, spilling some tea. Yeah, there, there's definitely, you know, even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, if you're not in the U.S., there is an energy of that week, like November 20th through the 26th, or somebody saying, "I'm going to be, I'm going to be with my family. We're having dinner. Would you like to come to dinner? You might have an invite. Um, I'm all by myself. I'm single. I'm not with anyone. I'm hearing that as well." <clears throat> But I feel like somebody is looking at you <clears throat> with this, you know, really liking what they see. Yeah, that's weird because there's this bird. I don't think I've ever noticed this bird on this card. It feels like there'd be like a messenger bird that you're going to receive or somebody saying, let me get this message out to Virgo or tell my friends or family members or someone to connect with Virgo to get this message to Virgo. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that might be even, hey, we just got a bird, <laughs> you know, come over, we're having Thanksgiving dinner, we have a turkey, we have a bird, um, Thanksgiving Eve, we're all going out, that kind of thing. There's definitely, for some of you, it's a reconnection, and for some of you, you're meeting someone, you're meeting the one. Okay, let me see. I just want to ask one more question about this King of Cups, why this King of Cups is in the reverse. And why temperance is there. A little more information. Why the King of Cups? Oh, the moon. Oh, very emotional. This person is very deeply emotional. And they they can be deceptive, emotionally deceptive. Or they just keep things hidden. This person is very intuitive. Um, they're, they're driven by their emotions, not their logic. So if this person, um, so strange, you may not even understand it, but if this person is there, these still waters run very deep in the moon. There's something to do with this person in the moon and something, um, at night dreams, they dream about you or they will be thinking about you. Uh, it's not daydreaming. Um, this person actually is having either dreams about you. And there's this, this struggle that this person has where they fight between having this impulsive wild side and then being civil and domesticated. This person rides right in the center there. And some days they are completely out of control and emotional and instinctual. And then at other times, they are very domesticated and civil. They might even present <laughs> a different face, like at night. You know, the man on the moon, the face in, face in the moon? At night, they might present this very primal instinct. At night, I don't know if they're like a werewolf. What the hell is going on? A very primal instinct at night. And then during the day, they're like, you know either masking or just fitting in during the day, okay? 
um, that this person has a lack of alignment 24 hours straight. They morph. Why is temperance here? Because this kind of makes me feel like this person is blending these two energies. And I don't understand what that means. Blending, coming into alignment with self. At night, they're wild and crazy and very passionate and deeply emotional. And then during the day, they're just going about their business. It's like a completely different person. I don't know if they're borderline and they're getting some help. Why are these readings always so psychological? Maybe there's bipolar stuff going on. All right. Wow. Seven of Swords. For somebody, this person, you know, I mean, if you don't know them, then it's probably something you'll find out later. But or whether you do or you don't know them, this person um, has been sneakily, sneakily, sneaky, um, either taking medicine for some stuff that's going on with them or they're drinking to kind of calm themselves down. Um, not alcoholically, but just kind of like taking a few sips or having some drinks to relax. But it's like kind of like if, if you meet them at like an event or something or a holiday thing, you'll see them. They'll have like a like maybe, for example, like a beer or a drink. But then they go into the bathroom and take a couple shots just to <laughs> just to try to like, you know, maybe they mix drinks or something. But it's kind of like behind the scenes or they're taking medicine or they're seeking some type of like... Um, uh, healing, coming into balance, um, maybe some counseling or something, spiritual healing, some philosophical studies or spiritual studies. But this is all behind the scenes. Like, that's the deception. Okay, so I don't know, is this person, like, getting help or healing themselves? For some of you, maybe this person's an alcoholic and they, they kind of are still taking a couple sips of drink and they're not saying anything that like you don't know. So they're not really sober. They're kind of hiding it from, for some of you. You might catch them ordering a drink from a bartender or uh, sipping out of a flask or see them going into a liquor store during this time period. Um, and for others, this person moonlights at night as a bartender. <laughs> or they do something in like a restaurant or a bar. Okay. <laughs> like a side job that nobody knows about. I don't know. They're serving drinks. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> There's like 8 million messages that are coming to me. Um, some of you might come across this person at like a bar or um, Thanksgiving Eve or some kind of a party. Um, maybe you work there. You work in a restaurant or as a bartender or you work in a place like that. And you meet up with this person and you're, you've got your boss there. Very interesting. You might be catering some kind of holiday event maybe during the day. Or, I don't know, some people go out to eat for Thanksgiving. Maybe you're working as a server. Or you are there eating with family and friends and your father or older male or someone in your family or a friend. Um, you might get asked out to dinner as well for some of you by this person. You might actually go have dinner with this person during the holiday. Okay. You have the three of wands. Some of you are waiting for this person. You're waiting for the one. Waiting, welcoming, waiting to meet the one. And uh, some of you are waiting for this reunion as well. Okay. Again with the three. Waiting for some kind of communication. Um, some of you might have reached out and asked a question. And you're waiting to hear back. And I feel like you will. You might hear back by proxy. Or you might hear back where this person takes action. All right. Let me see. Okay, Ace of Cups, Chariot, Two of Wands, The Hanged Man, and The Seven of Cups. Okay, waiting for this person to come. That's it. I feel like somebody's coming to you, Virgo. You're not going to anybody. Somebody's coming to you. <clears throat> yeah, that Ace of Cups. Okay, you're waiting for someone to make a decision about this potential new love start. Or you're waiting for universe to bring you somebody also. I mean, you've got the world in your hands. The twos are about partnership. Um, I feel there's a lot of waiting for results or waiting for something to happen here for a new beginning here. 
okay? And you're very patient, all right? You're not committing to anything either. You might have had somebody that ghosted or this person shows up when you've just been kind of like hanging around with the hangman and just doing whatever you do and you can't... Some of you might be seeing this person in your dreams. You might be daydreaming if you don't know who they are, but you can't see their face. Not, so some of you, I feel like, might be having dreams of people, and there's like, the face is blank, eyes without a face, Billy Idol, hello, the face is blank, you can't really see the face, but you know who your person is, and you know they're coming, and you're just waiting, there's so much waiting here, yeah, that's what I feel like, is, that's a really strong message, it's not confusing at all. You're not moving, you're not pursuing, but when the time is right, you're waiting for to hear the call. You're waiting for the love to come in, the new start. Oh, there you go, four of wands. Some type of holiday celebration, that's what I'm telling you. And you're going to get some communication from someone here. If this was someone who was, who was a runner... In and out, in and out. It feels like they're going to, well, be careful because they might come in and tell you like, oh, you know, I realize I run away a lot and you're the one for me and I love you unconditionally and I want us to be together and I've been, you know, getting some healing. It does sit with the Seven of Swords, so that can be a card of um, deception, but you, it's also a card of running away. And I feel like this person ran away from a soulmate connection, okay? If this, you know... If this is someone you've connected with before, they've run away when you guys started getting in sync and things were going well and they've run away before, okay? They know that they do this. It has something to do with their intense emotions or if there's like a bipolar or some kind of thing, you know, mental disorder or something like that going on or just their emotions get the best of them and they get scared, fear of intimacy and they run away. Um, the codependent relationship, when it says runner in a codependent relationship, I mean, codependency is like, it can be very manipulative. I just feel like it, there is some toxicity. Okay. Now, if this is somebody new, I do feel like this person, you know, they do have these issues. Um, but new or old, I do feel like there's a sense that this person is coming back in. Is there going to be healing? I'm not sure. Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some connection made here. I feel like this person has been learning to love themselves, doing that self-love thing. I don't feel like they ever did that. The codependency is usually a people-pleasing thing. Yeah. So it does seem like there's some change. Okay. But you, Virgo, I feel like you're not really taking any action here, you know. Um, I get a sense that you are just still. And you're just kind of like, well, you know, if something comes in, something happens, that's great. But, you know, I'm busy shopping for that turkey and I got work to do and I got to finish out the day or finish out this week. And you get a lot of other stuff on your plate. So you're not really committing too much to anything else. Some of you, okay. <laughs> All right, this person's, all right, for some, this person's father and your mother are playing a huge role. Maybe they know each other. <laughs> Maybe there's a father and mother or family situation. They know each other. And for others, this person is showing up. They're going from a king of cups in reverse to an emperor. And you're sitting here with the empress. And you could switch it around as well, okay? Either way, the king, or, I'm sorry, the uh I feel like this person might be straight across the board. Everything's good with them, except for the emotions. They're like kind of mixed up with the emotions. But I really get a sense that, like, I mean, the Empress and the Emperor are meant to be together. That's a match. Okay, so this is a connection here. And I feel like this person just needed to level up in a lot of ways. They needed to um, take a look and see that they were the one who was always running from a, this connection, from a soulmate connection. They were, yeah, just running away. Yeah, I, I feel it's more of that than it is deception, or they realize they've been deceiving themselves, 
Virgo, you've been just, I don't know, I just see you sitting here, like, very casual, very relaxed, even though it's the Empress, or, or Emperor, what do you want to call it? I just feel like you're just kind of, you've been here, like, you know, I'm, I'm good. If they come back, they come back, and they're going to stick, then they should, and hopefully they will. If not, I'm still good. Yeah, so I don't see any stress, anything going on with you at all. I feel like this person is going through some big changes, you know, in their life, or at least... Maybe if they're not going through them right now, they will be in November. Definitely. All right, let me get your romance angels. What does the romance angels have to say about your reading? And remember, you guys, tomorrow I'm going to be back with your weekend love reading. So make sure you click that subscribe notification bell. So that you'll be alerted even though or you could just remember that i'm here every night <laughs> sunday through thursday okay oh we got a whole bunch of okay there's attraction here for sure and passion wow very strong attraction and passion it's a past life relationship virgo so for a lot of you this is a rekindling of something from the past or maybe something new there's the soulmate okay true love give this relationship a chance make the effort i mean these these cards are straightforward okay <laughs> some of you are going to give somebody a chance some of you are making this decision well you know what couldn't do anything while they were in their mess they get out of their mess look here's committed love relationship they get out of their mess they get themselves together they bloody stump on in come correct and then yeah okay it's a shocker tower this is a shocker. This person is coming in ready for a committed love relationship. And this is going to shock the ish out of you around Thanksgiving week. Okay. They want to be with you. After every storm comes a washing away. Okay. Everything that has happened has happened for a reason and has happened for the best. Okay. Huh. Now we have non-committal. Wow. Maybe that's you. You're not ready. Yeah. Because you have the seven of cups here. Yep, you've got no contact. I feel like some of you are going to get some kind of message or like it's just going to be a shocking thing, a revelation, the way this person's coming in. Um, somehow they might get through to you if you're no contact, but I also feel like you're not, you're just not going to, I don't, I don't see you. Like I said, you don't really have much action here. So I don't see you like jumping to answer that call or anything like that. You're, you're very non-committal with whoever this person is, even if it's somebody new coming in you're not rushing in like you're you're i feel like you might even say to someone you know what i don't know that i want all this contact like i really am not trying to get into a relationship too fast but can, we can take it slow you know past or new okay hey speed and travel showed up in the reverse so that's kind of like well that's cupid's arrows but there's also um hold on Hold on a minute. Oh. All right. There's a couple of things. First of all, whatever the energies of this card are, they're kind of in the reverse. And I feel like that's your that's your position. You're not rushing into anything. You're not speeding into every, anything. You're not traveling to do something. You're just delaying. I'm not sure why. I think you would know why. But you're just, I don't know. Okay, so, okay, so this is, this is the hanged man, but it came up in the reverse. You have the hanged man in the upright over here, and this is you trying to see things from a different point of view, but then you had it in the reverse, and the hanged man in the reverse is basically like feeling like a victim. So you might not be fully healed to get into anything just yet, okay? You, you, you want to see the situation from a positive or at least a different angle or a different perspective, but, and you want to see the silver lining. You want to try to make the predicament easier, but you might just be like, nah, I don't think, I, I feel like I'm still stuck in something. Okay. I don't know exactly what that means, Virgo, but I feel like for you, you're just not rushing. You're just not rushing to answer that call. You're not rushing to text back right away. I mean, will you? Yeah. But I feel like you're 
You're not even rushing to listen to a voicemail. You're not rushing to answer that door. You might look through the peephole and then run and hide. <laughs> okay, twin soul. So that's the lovers. Okay, so it's it's a little bit... It might have been a twin flame connection that was really difficult or struggle. Um, usually the struggle is like one person is not recognizing the twin flame connection where the other person is. So one person is not ready where the other person is, but now it's turning into more of healing that twin flame where it feels more like a soulmate relationship. This is a connection where two people have been chosen for one another. Okay, even when times are tough and seem back and forth, the love was meant to be, it's time to reconcile. So you're not you're not jumping into that. I can tell you right now, and I'll see you. I think you've 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 thrown your cares to the wind maybe enough times in your life, Virgo, and you're just kind of like, uh, I'm taking my time again. I'm taking I'm taking my time on this. Alright, let me get your Chinese signs. Okay, year of the rooster, year of the rabbit, year of the rat, year of the pig, year of the horse, year of the monkey, horse again, double horse, year of the snake, year of the dragon, I'm going to get two more, year of the goat, we said pig, and year of the ox. Okay, that could be you, could be your person. Could be both of you, could be none of you. Okay, let's get some. What am I missing? Oh, I know. They're telling me. Okay. Oh, that's strange. They're saying pull the hidden truth oracle. Okay. There's some kind of message in here for you, Virgo. <clears throat> let's see what it is. All right, Virgo, let's see what this is. Where's the rest? I feel like I'm missing some of these cards. Hold on, you guys. Am I? Oh, yeah, I'm there. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> the Hidden Truth Oracle. There's something here that needs to be said. Okay. I love you unconditionally. That's twice. Okay. That's how this person feels. I'll do anything for you. Um, I don't really personally feel like two people should love each other unconditionally. I think that should be reserved for <laughs> maybe family members or parents with kids. Uh, maybe your dog, because <laughs> your dog will love you unconditionally. Maybe your person's year in the year of the dog, but they feel that way. Okay, they feel like there isn't anything you could do wrong this person like you have no flaws to them you just don't you just don't have any flaws even your imperfections are per perfect for them okay that's really sweet okay but the timing just wasn't right and for some of you this is a timing thing definitely you know one person was ready and recognized it as a twin flame connection the other person wasn't but it looks like there's something here changing and just remember, if this is not someone that you are having a past life connection with, you could be connecting with somebody new. Keep that in mind, okay? And, and all the ways I said you could be meeting this person. If you need to go back and listen, go ahead. For some of you, this person remembers every detail of a particular day that you were together. They wish things could be different, yeah. And it looks like that's what's inspiring this person to make change. <clears throat> from the way something was before. They couldn't let you get close to them, so they ran. The runner. The runner. A little bit close, and then they run. And then they come back, get a little bit more close, and then they run. Really crazy stuff. <laughs> this person just did not want to be abandoned or they had a fear of rejection. They might have been avoidant, uh, that kind of thing. People who are avoidant, here's how this works. And I was talking to... Who was I talking to today? Tina or someone I was talking to. I'm, I'm sorry if you're in the chat and I can't. If you're listening. I can't remember. I had so many readings today. It's crazy. Um, I was saying that people who have an avoidant attachment style, um, usually that is created when they are like zero to like maybe two or three. That avoidant attachment style, from what I've read, 
was what makes somebody run away when they get too close is that a mother figure in their life was smothering and was unbelievably smothering and the, they, they felt like they couldn't do anything on their own and when somebody gets too close they feel suffocated that's what causes the avoidant and what causes the anxious attachment in someone when they get older is when they're in zero to two or three years old and their mother abandons them and it usually comes from the relationship with the mother because the mother is the one that generally creates the bond with the child so if the mother creates too much of a bond with the child and smothers the child, the child, when they get older, it scares them. They can't, they're suffocated and they run away. If the mother abandons the child or neglects the child's emotional needs, the anxiousness sets in. And when this person gets older, they want to hold on tighter than anything. It's like, it's like a survival. So they don't lose the relationship. They don't lose that person. That's kind of like it's... The, the smothering causes the avoidance and the abandonment causes the anxiety. Okay. So this person definitely has struggles with some kind of avoidance. If you got too close, they would run away. Okay. And if you had an anxious thing where you were smothering or holding, or you were holding on too tight, this person might have then has to back out. If you weren't doing that, it was just a, a reactionary, like a knee-jerk reaction in this person. So they couldn't let you get close, so they run away, okay? And then they come back again. But they want to feel that again, which is typical of an avoidant kind of situation. It's not that they don't love you. It's just they need a, a hell of a lot of space um, so that they can regroup. And then they want to feel that love from you again. That could have a lot to do with why this person's coming back in. Also, they're out there by themselves. So many things remind them of you. And they're inclined, they're getting signs to reach back out to you again or to connect with you again. But you have to like determine really where we're going. I feel like I had this conversation today as well. Um, is this person going to come back in and then run away again? You got to find that out. That might be why you're not going to commit or pursue it because you don't know. You might decide, well, maybe I'll just observe their behavior and I won't invest all my eggs again or with someone new because... I don't know if this person's going to bolt when things get tough, but fortunately, it looks like this person is starting to understand the connection, so that's good. Somehow, some way, they're figuring it out, which is good. That's very good. Okay, let me get some charms. Okay. <laughs> just want one. I just want one. And what the heck is this? Oh, that's crazy. So it's a rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. And this rabbit looks like... Okay, it's so weird because I was thinking to myself, when I said this person is starting to understand the connection, maybe they're getting tarot card readings. That was the first thing I thought. Or they're listening to tarot readings somehow, maybe by way of you. Or you tell them stuff when you meet them. Or you show them... Or something to do with, you know, this community, and they connect to it, and then they start understanding. The reason why I say this is because this rabbit is wearing, like, an outfit that has the four suits of a deck of cards on it. The heart, the spade, the um, club, and the, and the um, diamond, which are the four suits of tarot, the pentacle, the wand, the sword, and the cup, okay? Um... And he's blowing like a trumpet. Okay. <laughs> Could be a rabbit. Maybe your person is a rabbit you connect with or you are. Um, and that trumpet is like kind of like a horn, like an alert. You know, like triumphant as well is what I'm picking up. Like triumph. Like this person, I don't know what's going on. But you're, I will tell you this, Virgo. What it feels like overall is that upon meeting this person, if it's new, or this person that you've connected with in the past, you have had an effect on them. A life-changing effect on this person. Okay. You have Virgo, uh, double Cancer, Aries. Okay. Maybe you have connection with them right now. Okay. Leo, Cancer again, Scorpio and Pisces. Okay, 
Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio again, and Aries. Okay, so that could be your person. Also, we have 1984, 2017, significant year for someone. Um, 1969, also have 1966. Um, also, September 20, no, August 26th. Um, somebody was born in September 1953, or was born in September and has turned 53, okay? All right. Um, 90210. Also, um, 1967. Somebody is 35. Someone is 54. Between 52, all right, 50, no, they're saying 52, 53, and 54. Okay. Um, somebody's address is 9030. Okay. Yeah, 36 years of age. Oh. 53276. Okay. Do you hear that airplane? Um, September 23rd. Also, 1979. Okay. And 705. I don't know what that means. Seven, maybe it's the time right now, or it's an address, or it's a highway. 705 could be connected to you. Um, I'm also getting August 27th. Okay, November 9th. Oh, isn't that today? Yep. I'm also hearing 504. Um, I feel like these are roads. 405, 506, 1968. Okay. So as far as birthdays, let me take a look and see, because I know we had some September and August birthdays. Okay, September 3rd, September 4th, um, hmm, August 24th, September 14th, um, September 15th. Somebody lives at 211. Okay. 211 or 211. Okay. Let me see. Hold on, you guys. I'm actually going to stop there. Should I stop there? How long has it been? Hold on. How long? I can't tell. Oh, 42 minutes. Yeah, I'll just do a couple of names just so we can get some names out there for you guys see what comes up some names or what other clarifiers you need to know I'm also hearing 410 okay just a couple of clarifiers for Virgo before we end the reading and then I'm gonna do the um, the Virgo with if you're dealing with Aries if you're dealing with so on and so forth okay all right someone right now is wrapped in a blanket listening to this reading Okay, it's wrapped in a blanket. Okay, what else? Okay, I'm hearing G Rizzo. G Rizzo. <laughs> I don't know what that means. G Rizzo. Or Grizzo? Is that a name? Or G Rizzo. Okay, let me see. Also hearing the name Richard or Rick or Ricky. Richard, Rick, Ricky. Okay. Someone was a pirate for Halloween. Someone was a pirate for Halloween. And somebody wears Nike sneakers. Or runners. I don't know. Wherever you are in the world. Okay. There's that horn again. Does somebody play a, a, a horned instrument? Possibly. All right, let's see. 
Oh, somebody had a Raggedy Ann doll. Just saw a Raggedy Ann doll. Okay, red hair. Somebody's got red hair. Do they even make Raggedy Ann dolls? Oh my gosh. Or a doll with red hair and braids and a plaid dress. How about that? <laughs> Somebody call somebody doll. Okay. I just heard Aaron, the name Aaron. All right. Somebody has a table with pennies or coins all inside the table, like under glass or something. These are very random messages. Okay, got the I've got the name J O or J O E J O Joe. I don't know if it's a, a middle name or a last name or first name. It's got J O in it. Okay. Somebody, okay, I see someone, um, someone locked their keys in the car. Did someone lock their keys in the car and somebody came to help them get their keys out of the car? Okay. Weird. Very strange message. Very, very strange message. Um, what is that? What are they saying? Millie or McMillan? All right, I think they're saying Millie or McMillan. I'm hearing Mill. <sighs> bear with me, you guys, bear with me. Somebody has a, a very beautiful white dog. A very beautiful white. Is he a German Shepherd or a Husky? A lot of white, very beautiful, very fluffy, fluffy white dog. And someone has a, a son or a little boy who's got blonde hair, a very nice, neat haircut. I'm just seeing. Okay. Initials H twice. Oh, somebody buy a Tesla or is buying a Tesla? Okay. I just, I just heard, I just saw Tesla or buying a Tesla. Hmm. Okay. Somebody is from Greece or is Greek. Greece is from Greece or is Greek. All right. If you want to click off the video, feel free to do that. If you want to stay, I'm just going to add the bonus and do the, um, if you're Virgo dealing with whatever Zodiac sign, if you want to hang out and wait for that, um, I'm just going to clear my table here a little bit. So <clears throat> feel free to stick around for that. I hope you guys are doing well. <clears throat> All right. I just want to try it out and see how it goes. I used to do it before, but it's been a while. So just to give you guys like a little more of a specific read here. Okay. So let's just push them out of the way. Okay. And get into this reading. Okay. We're going to start with Aries and go all the way through Pisces. Okay. So if you're a Virgo and you're connecting with an Aries, what is the Aries energy for the month of November? Your Virgo connecting with an Aries. Okay, so this person is seeking attention, recognition, um, definitely with the star. This person is, you know, trying to be seen and trying to be noticed by you at this time, this Aries, okay? Um, trying to be in the spotlight, receive all the awards, the acclaim, the accolations, the applause, and the praise. They want all that from you, okay? They're putting themselves out in the spotlight, so you will see them. But it's a very deceptive energy, okay? So it's kind of covert. I feel like this person doesn't want you to know that they're doing this, this Aries. 
Um, they don't want you to get a misconception, but it's exactly what they're doing. <laughs> they're trying to get your attention. So if they're on social media or they're putting themselves like showing off around you, they're, this person is trying to get you to notice them. Why? Because they just want your attention. And Virgo, you might be like, I don't see you. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I feel like is going on. Okay. If you are Virgo dealing with a Taurus, Taurus is energy. Oh, Taurus thinks that they're a big shot. Very horny. I have to tell you that. <laughs> um, wow. This Taurus, Taurus is... They're trying to have a new beginning with you. Absolutely. Um, this person's birthday could be like April 21st or on the cusp as well. But I feel like this person is trying to have a new start with you. And they're coming your way in November. Okay. The Taurus. Travel. Moving on. Moving forward. A calm after a storm. So if there was some kind of argument or a fight. This person is like gave it a little bit of time. Ready to have some new start and new growth with you. Okay. If you are dealing with a Gemini, Virgo dealing with a Gemini. Okay. Oh, there's the Emperor again. Let's see. Heavy influence by a father. This person is like totally looking to see how they were extremely insecure and they needed to grow up. Absolutely. In the relationship with you, Gemini is like, man, having a different view of themselves at this time. They saw that they were like, in fear, restricted, felt backed into a corner, victimized, paralyzed by fear and terror, um, and just being a little bit too passive. And I feel like this person's taking a look at that and realizing they don't have to play the victim. They need to woman up or man up with the emperor and get stable, take back control of their lives and be dependable in a relationship. So I feel like this person here is having like a little bit of a spiritual experience I don't know if it's a spiritual awakening, but it's definitely an experience like, wow, taking a look at themselves and saying, you know, I was really playing the victim this whole time and it was, it was not Virgo's fault. Okay. So if you are dealing with a cancer, okay, Virgo, oh, there's the Empress. Okay. Let's see. Mother, heavily, heavy mother influence. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. This person, this cancer is coming in to try to be the victor in your life, okay? Maybe they stabbed you in the back, or they're trying, or there was some kind of uh, defeat. I feel like this person, they have issues with their mom. <laughs> they have some mommy issues. Um, but I feel like this person is um, either might try to. <sighs> It's weird, okay? They're just giving me two things. They're giving me motherhood, fertility, and then they're giving me menopause. So I don't know if this person is going through that and is coming to the end of that, or you are, but I feel like this they're definitely like also sitting in a position of um, coming and wanting to support and lift you up for some reason, okay? Um, they're looking at you, and they feel defeated as well. And I feel like this person is like trying, they want to give you some recognition for, I'm just hearing a job well done. So you might get some kind of communication or message from a cancer um, that like something like, wow, you really held your end of things. Like I'm really impressed. That's what I'm hearing. So it's some kind of recognition or support from this person after going through some big changes. Okay. Um, so if you're Virgo, connecting with a Leo. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a love connection happening here. Meeting, um, hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's a connection here, but be careful with this Leo because they're coming in for with a friends with benefits. You know, that's what they're thinking of. Like, they're dreaming, basically, of connecting with you. I don't know if they're going to be committal because generally... The Seven of Cups is not committal, but it is a card of fantasy and illusion. This person is dreaming of connecting with you or meeting with you and getting it on. They want to, like, they are fantasizing about you, fantasizing about connecting with you, fantasizing about meeting. If they want to meet with you. They're going to try to meet up with you in November, this Leo, and try to have some kind of, like, one-on-one -on -one growth time, if you know what I mean. 
Um, and then they might guess ghost you, but it's more so, I don't know so much about that possibly, but it's like in, under the sheets. They want to see you under the sheets. <laughs> okay, whatever. Do your thing. Virgo with Virgo. What are the messages here? If you're a Virgo, connecting with a Virgo. Oh, y'all are getting married. This person's coming in to have a reunion. You're a wish come true for them. You're their enthusiastic. And you are their enthusiastic. This person is like a lovable rogue. Like a very childish, playful. Um, you could be connecting at a wedding or some type of holiday event. Like I said, maybe the end of November. Drinks, having a good time. Um, for some of you, this is um, reuniting at a family event or some type of party or uh, just meeting at a party, okay, this Virgo is going to be there, and this Virgo is, like, going to ask you out, or is going to talk to you about commitment, or getting into a relationship, um, it, there's going to be a lot of, <laughs> I just heard a lot of drinking, and a lot of things that are going to be a little rebellious in the words that are said, I don't know, it's going to be shocking, but it's, it's going to be, like, drunk talk, <laughs> that kind of thing from this Virgo, um, and I guess that would be true because Virgo probably does need to drink a little just to open up and, talk and say all the things they wish they could say in the daytime. Okay, so if you are a Virgo connecting with a Libra, I have to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever sneezed in reading before. Okay, Virgo connecting with a Libra. What's the Libra's energy right now? Oh, okay. Charity, giving. Oh, okay. This person's watching you, Virgo. This Libra is watching you. They um, are kind of like... And if anybody here would like to volunteer to put timestamps in the comments section, one of my moderators, I would greatly appreciate that if you're able to do that. Or if anybody else wants to volunteer, that's fine. Um, but yeah, this person is watching to see who you're giving your time and your energy to. They're very curious if you're talking to somebody else. If you are leaving them, if you are having other conversations with people, um, if you're breadcrumbing, I'm feeling a little bit of suspiciousness from this Libra. They, um, they're very curious about what you're doing. Their head is running. Their thoughts are running a million miles an hour. Uh, who you're giving your time to, who you're who you're sharing being in in like with other people or friends or community or who you're working with at your job oh bleh. they're gonna be asking you questions they're watching you they're stalking they're gonna be communicating sending messages who are you going out with who are you talking to where are you going <laughs> who's that yeah e. okay virgo if you're connecting with a scorpio let's see what the messages are here virgo with scorpio Okay. All right. Scorpio is being free. Okay. Traveling, resting, sleeping, and jerking off. <laughs> um, actually, Virgo, the Scorpio, um, it looks like they want to come. <laughs> I'll stop right there um, and get in bed with you and, you know, have a little have a little fun fun little explosive connection with you absolutely okay um so they might be coming your way in november or connecting with you in november you know have very re a little bit of r and r and a little fun and fun if you know what i mean um this person is <laughs> very um as soon as they get in bed virgo i feel like this person is just gonna be done it's gonna be like two minutes and it's over <laughs> They're just letting themselves go. Very attracted to you. So much that you're giving this person all the feels down there. If you know what I mean. And, and even if they're not coming your way, they might try to risk, take it like a journey of some sort. But just they laying in bed thinking about you and they boop. <laughs> uh, they just, you know, whatever. <laughs> what am I, 10? Stop it. Okay, Scorpio, I'm not Scorpio, Virgo with Sagittarius, Virgo with Sagittarius, okay, Sagittarius is, uh, woo, Sagittarius is planning to come your way, as soon as they're finished all this hard-earned labor, these burdens, dropping these burdens, oh yeah, Sagittarius got this, uh, trying to manifest this love thing here, Cupid's arrows, holiday romance, and right now they're overburdened, and as soon as they're finished work, Sag, Sag, as soon as this person has finished work, 
or whatever they're doing, um, they're on their way. Okay. They're, they're going to be connecting with you, whether that's travel by plane, train, and automobile. Um, this person's going to work their magic and give you all the love and all the feels. <laughs> all the love and all the feels and nothing is really too bad here you guys so it's all holiday fun holiday romance a lot of um yeah that's cupid's arrows good news bringing you the good news hey guess what i'm done i i, I did everything i had to do I'm, i manifested all my work i got it all finished and i'm on my way all right if you are a virgo connecting with a capricorn oh oh there's travel oh Long distance travel, 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 travel. I can't even with this. Hasty. I feel like somebody's, you know what, Virgo? Somebody's going to show up your door around November 21st. They're just going to show up at your in your town, at your work, in your door. They might be coming from far away. There might be an online connection that gets realized during the holiday season, the start of the holiday season, the end of November. All right, so Virgo, this is a big fat yes, yes, yes with this Capricorn, okay? Um, they're on their way, passionate as ever. Uh, this person, like, is, is she, very charming, very energetic and, and adventurous. Um, they're not even going to think twice. You, They might call you and tell you, hey, just so you know, I'm in an Uber. Where's your, what's your address? Or can you meet here? They're very spontaneous. That's how their energy is going to be. I don't know if they're normally like that, but they're showing up that way in November, coming to connect with you. I feel like there's, you know, it's so funny because it is the, the biggest traveling holiday week is the end of November on Thanksgiving week here in the U.S. I mean, the, the, you know, traveling out and traveling in, it's, the, it's the, the, the biggest holiday travel season. So there's so much travel in these readings. There's a lot going on. Okay. Virgo, if you're connecting with Aquarius, all right, there's definitely a reunion. Um, oh, wow, this Aquarius, they want to come back. All right, this, this Aquarius is coming back, okay? They're making their plans. They're planning a return, and this person is coming in with that committed energy here. Definitely, there's a reunion. If you haven't been connecting with the Aquarius for a while, this person is definitely coming back in. I'm going to bring you some flowers. Could be something around the holidays. For some of you, that might have already happened on November 5th. I feel like there was some kind of connection with this person. But yeah, this person is like making plans, emigration, suddenly leaving. Um, right now, they're in a waiting position. They could be at the airport um, at, around this time towards the end of the month, waiting to board their, that flight. That hierophant would be in like some kind of building of some sort. Oh, they're on their way back, definitely. Reconnecting again, rekindling some type of connection, coming home. Wow. Oh. Aquarius is traveling. Everybody is traveling to their people. What the heck? Or, or they want you to travel to meet up with them. There's definitely, it's cuffing season, Virgo. It's cuffing season. All right. If you want. You don't have to cuff with anybody. You can cuff with somebody new. These could be new people. All right, Virgo, last one. If you're connecting with a Pisces, I feel like I need to give this a really good shuffle for some reason. I don't know why. Why? Oh, okay. There's that. Oh, okay, that's why. Oh, Pisces. I'm, what are they doing? All right. This person is causing conflict on purpose. Be careful, Virgo, with this Pisces. I feel like they're, they're going to be... Um, okay, a couple of messages. They're going to cause a little bit of conflict, okay? Or disagreement or something. Which is really unlike Pisces, unless they're a shark type. But um, th their intention is to win an argument or to win the conflict and then be done with it. This person, this does not sound romantic. I don't know what's going on here, but also this person, like their attention here is to be a winner. Whatever this conflict is, whatever this problem is, to, to be right, to win the argument, to win the debate, 
to gather or to garner attention and everyone to support them in this conflict and then put an end to it and be done with it that's it it's nothing romantic so it's it's a it's a conflict in a relationship or some kind of thing this person just kind of starts they're an instigator and they they instigate on purpose so that they can get people to challenge them but they pick and choose their battles so that they can win them and then you know everybody's death to them a little bit of an ego going on here and that's I feel like that's more of a warning for you Virgo with this Pisces it doesn't seem I know some of you are like that's not even my person well maybe it's a friend I don't know but that's the energy I'm picking up from this person and I feel like there's a reason why they were <laughs> like I was shuffling there was hesitation there's something going on here with the Pisces all right I hope that was fun I'm not going to do that every single day but well, maybe. We'll see how it goes. I'll have to choose a day for that. But yeah, that's going to be your reading, you guys. That was kind of long, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back here tomorrow night to do your weekend reading. So make sure you tune in at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Make sure if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do that. I'm going to be adding some more stuff. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys have a fantastic, awesome evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.